Hi, I'm Bob Woodard, Chairman of the Dare County Board of Commissioners. 2016 was a busy and productive year for Dare County. Right here in this room, the Board of Commissioners took action to increase public involvement in government, economic development, and improve navigational access through Oregon Inlet and Hatteras Inlet. We expanded community outreach and involvement by hosting town hall meetings in Manio and Buxton and installed a remote video system that allows public comment to be made from Hatteras Island. We approved a budget that maintained the high level of county services that the community has come to expect without raising taxes. 2016 will also be remembered for the many accomplishments of our county's departments. The generosity and resilience of its citizens and countless beginnings that will have a positive impact for years to come. The long-awaited groundbreaking for the new Bonner Bridge took place on Tuesday, March 8th, a landmark day for Dare County. Then Governor Pat McCrory and other officials from Raleigh joined the Board of Commissioners for a groundbreaking ceremony. The Bonner Bridge was long overdue for replacement with some doubting that the day would ever come. However, through the combined grassroots efforts of the people of Hatteras Island, the Dare County Board of Commissioners, as well as state officials, the project finally moved forward after nearly 10 years of delay. Once ground was broken, construction started immediately. The Government Channel has released eight Bonner Bridge replacement project video updates with important information regarding the effects of construction on travel to and from Hatteras Island. The new bridge, scheduled to open in fall 2018, will ensure long-term safe, reliable access to our southern villages and the Cape Hatteras National Seashore Recreational Area. During 2016, key steps were taken to improve access to Dare County waterways, which are vital cornerstones of Dare County's economy and represent the highway to work for our watermen. Years of hard work by the Oregon Inlet Task Force saw improved navigational access through Oregon Inlet. The Dare County Board of Commissioners established the Inlet Maintenance Fund to provide funds for dredging that were matched by the state of North Carolina. The board also approved funds for Hatteras Inlet dredging and worked to secure long-term permitting for Hatteras Inlet. The Dare County Board of Commissioners also supported working watermen in 2016 by joining a lawsuit opposing an effort to restrict the catch of southern flounder. These restrictions would have devastating effects for watermen and seafood consumers. While 2016 was a good year for Dare County, it had its challenges. On the heels of a tropical storm that caused damage for many property owners, Hurricane Matthew paid a visit to Dare County, leaving an estimated $52.2 million in damages in his wake. Despite the tragedy and loss suffered by many, the generosity of neighbors helping neighbors showcased the true sense of community that is the backbone of our county's resiliency. Although progress has been made, the recovery effort will continue until the job is done. Dare County Health and Human Services provided much needed services to residents and property owners during Hurricane Matthew. In addition to managing the Special Medical Needs Registry with approximately 150 residents enrolled, Health and Human Services employees also staffed the phones at the Emergency Operations Center, answering over 3,500 inquiries during the storm. Following the storm, approximately 61 tetanus vaccines were provided to Hurricane Matthew survivors and responders on Hatteras Island. At the start of hurricane season, Health and Human Services distributed 150 emergency supply kits to at-risk older adults on Hatteras Island. The kits were purchased with grant funding and donations at no expense to taxpayers and came in handy during Hurricane Matthew. For those that own property in low-lying areas, Dare County continues to work with citizens to elevate their homes. During 2016, the Dare County Planning Department issued 30 permits for home elevations, some of which were done with federal funding from FEMA. Dare County's departments and services had a banner year, and in some cases it was a record year for providing services. 2016 saw the beginning of construction for the new Regional Emergency Operations and 911 Center that is scheduled to open in April 2017. The consolidation of 911 services for Hyde, Terrell, and Dare counties enabled state funds to be used for the project. 
In 2016, 141,514 calls were made to the Dare County 911 Center operated by the Sheriff's Office, which dispatched help for all police, fire, EMS, and ocean rescue calls. Of those calls, 6,632 were for fire rescue, 9,255 were for medical emergency, and 122,156 were for law enforcement. Over the course of the year, the Dare County Transportation System provided trips to 18,858 passengers, covering a total of 310,751 miles. 2016 was an active election year. In the March primary, 10,374 voters, or 36.74% of registered Dare County voters, cast their ballot. And in the November general election, 19,275, or 66.79% of registered Dare County voters, cast their ballot. In October, the Department of Health and Human Services conducted the second annual Saving Lives Community Forum. Over 120 Dare County residents attended the forum, receiving valuable information about substance abuse prevention, education, and resources in Dare County. The Department of Health and Human Services continued to work to combat the prescription drug problem in Dare County and partnered with the Nags Head Police Department to set up a prescription drug disposal box in the office of the Town of Nags Head Police Department. This disposal site joins the long list of others across Dare County that provide residents with safe means of disposing of prescription medications. For a complete list of disposal options, visit www.darenc.com rx. In March, Dare County placed in the top 10 for health outcomes and top 20 for health factors in North Carolina in the sixth annual County Health Rankings Report from the University of Wisconsin and the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. Approximately 4,100 Dare County youth ages 3 to 17 participated in a Parks and Recreation League or activity. And in August 2016, the newly completed skate park at the Fesden Center in Buxton opened to the public. The Dare County Library Foundation funded Dare County's first story walk in conjunction with Children and Youth Partnership. Located adjacent to the Dare County Center on the Manio Wellness Trail on Roanoke Island, the Story Walk places pages of a popular children's book along the outdoor trail with questions and physical activities to encourage fun, active engagement while reading. In 2016, Dare County Library users borrowed 180,902 items from the three library branches and over 22,240 ebooks and digital magazines were accessed using Dare County Virtual Library resources. Over the summer, approximately 1,803 children participated in summer reading program events and 14,597 children's books were borrowed. At the Dare County Regional Airport, approximately 25,000 landings and takeoffs took place in 2016, including 1,040 by FedEx and UPS, bringing packages and deliveries to residents and businesses. The Department of Public Works disposed of 105,630,760 pounds of garbage, equivalent to 17,605 elephants processed 19,022,920 pounds of construction and demolition debris, equivalent to 3,170 elephants in the landfill, and recycled 4,434,500 pounds of material, equivalent to 2,217 elephants. 2016 also saw the loss of one of the community's beloved champions, Commissioner Warren Judge. Commissioner Judge, first elected in 2000, worked tirelessly for the people of Dare County and was well known for his active participation in civic and community events. He served 11 terms as chairman of the board and dedicated countless hours to serving on a wide range of boards and committees. Looking ahead into 2017, having received an overview of the recently completed Economic Development and Diversification Strategic Plan in December, Commissioners will discuss options and plans for moving forward in 2017. To view the full plan online, visit darenc.com slash economic development. After having developed a county service district, CSD, in Buxton, 
and bids approved for the town beach nourishment projects. Plans for beach nourishment in the towns of Duck, Kitty Hawk, Kill Devil Hills, and the northern area of Buxton are underway, with an expected start date of May 2017. I'm excited about the opportunities before us in 2017, and the board looks forward to working with everyone in the community to help grow and solidify our economy and to keep Dare County a beautiful and welcoming place for all. Here's wishing you all a very healthy, happy, and successful 2017.